Hi everyone, I am back with another fragrance video today. Um, I had been thinking, um, just because I've been wearing scents like this lately, I was thinking about doing a video on calming scents. So um, that is going to be what today's video will be about. Um, so this is like basically going to be scents um, in my collection uh, that I just get like a calming feeling from when I spray them on. There's just certain scents. Um, I re I recognized this recently when wearing a few of these. Um, I get just this like after I shower or take a bath, um, you know, put my clothes on. And then I'll put like, you know, the spray and if I have the lotion to match it, I'll put them on um, and I'll kind of go and start my day or whatever I'm doing. And I just get like this complete like calming feel to my entire body. Like everything just feels so calm. And I noticed that with a few of... Um, scents that I have and so I was just like wow that happens like with other scents too so maybe I'll do a video on it so these are going to be um there's eight uh scents total two are body sprays that are easily available um with their matching lotion and then the rest are regular perfumes um these are going to be mostly designer scents um and all of the scents are also pretty inexpensive I'm just kind of checking but yeah they're all pretty inexpensive so I'll kind of um, share the prices with you guys as well so the first one that I'm going to show you guys um, is this one from Bath and Body Works so it's the white tea and sage um, fra fine fragrance mist and um, I have the matching lotion also um, I'll just read from the back the sensor on here I'm sorry the notes um, it's sparkling bergamot white tea, fresh sage, and violet woods. Now, I purchased this one, I think it was like last summer or like maybe like right before the summer or towards the end of the summer. Um, and I noticed, I know like um, I live in on the West Coast, so in um, the U.S. Um, and so it gets pretty hot in my area. Um, so like I remember when I purchased this like it was a little bit before it got hot and then once it got hot it was like sometimes it's like sticky hot and I remember last summer around this time um, we were getting like humidity and like all of that um, so I just wanted something really fresh and light um, nothing heavy um, and something that just makes you feel like really fresh um, so this one actually really did well in that type of heat um when i spray it on yeah i just get like a uh just just super calm like i feel super calm um it could be the sage and the tea um i think bergamot is actually like a really calming scent as well um so this one is um a really really good option really inexpensive i'm sure you know um bath and body works and I'm sitting, sitting here digging in my ear. Uh, you guys know the pricing for Bath and Body Works um, is pretty inexpensive. I think the packaging is a little different than this one. I really like the packaging on this one though. Um, but yeah, super, super calming. It kind of smells like the um, like the scents that you would smell like if you went to a spa. Um, you know, all of the kind of aromatherapy stuff that they have and all the creams and lotions. It just really smells like a really pretty luxurious um, lotion and this is an inexpensive. Um, so this is a really good option if you're looking for something um, calming to calm you down and kind of just really make you feel really comfortable. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, so I also noticed that um, for some reason a lot of scents with rose kind of have that effect on me. Um, they make me feel really, really calm. Um, so this one is another one from Bath and Body Works, and I'm just going to read the notes from the back. Um, so I'll show you guys this one. It is the Bath and Body Works rose scent. So the notes for this one, I'm going to read from the lotion. 
airy rose water blended with jasmine petals and creamy musk. So it's just rose water, jasmine, petals, and creamy musk. So yeah, I wore this uh, maybe like two weeks ago or something. And it's like after my shower and I put some of the lotion just on my arms and my hands. And then I'll spray the scent on. And it's like, man, that one is one of the top ones that I just felt so calm. I just feel like just super relaxed. Just so zen. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even do the whole zen stuff. But like just super, super relaxed and calm. Um, so I'm not sure exactly um, if it's just something with rose. This one is a very, very... To me, just a very, very straightforward, and it's rose water. So it's not very heavy to me. Um, I think some people say it's heavy. I feel like when I smell it on other people, the cream, like my, my mom or, you know, whoever I'm smelling like, to me, it smells stronger than it does like when I'm wearing it. Like, not necessarily just because of their chemistry or anything, but but I don't know. Like, it, it kind of smells strong, but light at the same time is what I'm kind of trying to say. But yeah, I really like that one. Um, very, very calming. And it just makes me feel super comfortable and super calm. So that's Rose by Bath & Body Works. Okay, so the next one I'll go into. Um, this is actually one recently that, well, I purchased it a while ago, like some months ago. But because it's... Uh, I kind of just felt like it would it would work better in like the spring months. I was waiting to wear it, so this past week I took it out and um, went ahead and wore it. And then after that, I think I wore it like five or six days straight. Like I just didn't want to smell anything else. Um, so the one that I'm talking about, and it's actually discontinued now, from what I understand, um, and it is the Cartier. By Zay Volé. And I really like this little cute bottle. This is Cartier in the front. And then it just has like the little thing that pops up like a little vintage lighter. I love vintage stuff too. So I just really like like that bottle. Okay, so Cartier by Zay Volé. It was uh, launched in 2011. The nose behind this is... Mathilde Laurent or Mathilde Laurent. Top notes are lily and citruses. Middle note is lily. Base notes are green lily and green notes. So basically this is just like a lily scent. Um, I actually came to like the flower, uh, the lily flower. The type that I like is a calla lily. Um, and that whole kind of obsession, not really an obsession, but just really loving it a lot came from um, this body wash that I started using like years ago. I just happened to buy it and try it out. It's the Diamond um, Nivea, the Diamond one. Um, it used to be, it used to say Calla Lily on it, but now it says Diamond and Lychee. To me, it smells exactly the same as it always has. Um, but this kind of started my kind of just love for the Calla Lily scent. Now, I don't know if this scent is based off of Calla Lily, but all I know is I just really like it. Um, so, and it's just, oh, it's just the best, like, calming, just, yeah, so to me, this just smells like, like a body cream, just like a lotion, like just the white smell of, like, lotions, um, you know, like Nivea or, like, I don't know just a basic cream like kind of like I always think of like when you go to a hotel and like the sometimes a fancy hotel and they have like the nicer like um you know body lotion um and like the little complimentary ones they give you in your room like the body lotions and the shampoos I don't know it just smells like the spa to me like a lot of those things just smell like you know especially if you're at like a spa hotel it just smells like the spa this is just like the spa I don't know it just smells like creamy lotion just a really pure clean smell but it also has like a little bite to it like a little green very very green bite to it 
and that's the part that I really really like and enjoy I don't know when I have have this on I just feel so relaxed so calm like I don't know like nothing can bother me nothing can bug me it just smells so good and it only has like a couple of notes and in my opinion this lasts really well um I think I had it on the other day I sprayed it like in the morning and I could still smell it like at 9 p.m. faintly but you know at times when I would move around I just get whiffs of it and so to me it's like really lasting so um, it's not that expensive anymore if you find it you can find it cheap pretty cheap on Mercari or like those types of resale sites um, but the quality is like really really good in my opinion um, this, but yeah, I really like this one, and this is the one who kind of gave me the idea um, to kind of do this video. So that is, it's the Cartier Baiser Volet Eau de Parfum. And then the next one um, is another one that I put on one day, and I literally fell asleep. So yeah, I sprayed it on, and I just fell asleep. And that one is the Perry Ellis 18. I also have the 18 Sensual, but this one is just really, really calming a bit more to me than the other one. So that's why I included this one. And I try to show you guys the boxes too, just in case you want to purchase it so you'll know what it looks like. So this is um, 18 by Perry Ellis. It's a floral fruity fragrance for women. Launch was 2006. Top notes are mojito, raspberry, and pear. Middle notes are water lily and orchid. And the base notes are sandalwood and bunny. Um, okay, so I think the water lily is what makes this really, really calming. And when I first got this, because I purchased it online, uh, I got the sensual one first in like Burlington. And then I wanted to try the original, so I bought it online. And when I got it, I was just totally like, what is this? It smells super strong, but it's a type of scent that you have to spray on your skin and on yourself. And then it's just so, so calming. It just smells like you're just walking through like a forest, but it's kind of like a wet forest um, with a tad bit of pear just to bring out some of the notes in the florals and then a tad bit of raspberry it's not fruity in the in the typical fruity way it's fruity in more of an adult type of fruity the same thing is true with the central with the 18 central um, it's just fruity in a different way it's it's more of like a rounded scent um, like a well-rounded scent where nothing really stands out so it's really well blended um, I get the sandalwood um, the vanilla or vanilla like it it kind of just grounds the scent a little bit and rounds out the scent yeah so that one I actually put it on one day like I said I fell asleep and I felt like I was just lay sitting there laying there and the smell just literally put me to sleep like I said, the Perry Ellis 18. And it's an EDP. And this one is fairly inexpensive. Also, I got it on uh, fragrancenet.com. And it was inexpensive. Maybe like 20-something dollars, I think. Okay, so the next one is going to be one that I talked about recently. So hopefully I won't really have to give too much information about it. Um, and that is the... Aeropostale Her 1987 Denim. So I started, I tried a few of the Aeropostale scents recently. I have like three of them. And this one is um, just one that I find very, very calming and relaxing. Um, so a fresh floral scent as comfortable as your favorite pair of jeans. The fragrance description is a floral musk. The top notes are peach mid notes jasmine and the base note is white amber 
on another thing online I found that it it said it has bergamot and I feel like I really smell bergamot a lot so I'm gonna say that this probably also has um, bergamot in it so this one uh, when I explained it before to me it just smells like a um, it smells like a laundry detergent but in the softest most like almost like the aroma of laundry detergent and not the you know actual sharp smell of almost like if you washed your clothes and your pillows just kind of waft, waft a smell sometimes through your nostrils I don't know like you know you get in your clean sheets and you just kind of here and there smell soft smell that's what I get with this it's like I don't know it's like tea kind of like a white tea or something um, with jasmine or jasmine tea but it's just so like you can just sniff this so easily it's like it just lingers in your I don't know it just smells like clean sheets clean shirts mm. it's so good <laughs> okay so that one um to me I like to wear this it's not really in my opinion a summer scent it's more like a cozy fresh scent so I feel like it's more of like a fall winter um you know even early spring um I don't know I you could spray this on like your your linens and stuff and I really don't really do perfumes on linens or spray stuff on my bed I don't do that unless it's like a Febreze thing or something like that but this is so it's just different it's like so soft that I think I would literally spray this on my pillow like to go to sleep to it won't bother you it just smells like the freshest just laundry like sun-dried laundry or something like that not sharp at all so that is um, Air Postel Her 1987 very very calming okay the next one I have um, is one that was a blind buy and I ended up really enjoying it and I love the bottle and love the box so it's um, Ascent by Issey Miyake and this is by Issey Miyake, of course. It's an Eau de Toilette. Okay, so a scent by Issey Miyake is a fragrance by Issey Miyake. Arrived on the market in 2009. This is a minimalistic, simple, and clear fragrance inspired by Japanese mountains. Um, behind its transparency, this perfume hides a strong floral wave of jasmine, hyacinth, and cedar. Freshness is added by... Fre French verbena and lemon, which make this fragrance more feminine. Aromas of galbanum add fondling, balmy, and warm trail. Okay. Perfumer is Daphne Boogie or Buki. It's a really strong floral. But it's a lot of like greenness in there it's like you smell like stems like a bamboo stem or like I don't even know what that smells like but it just seems like it smells like what this has in it yeah hyacinth jasmine cedar it's a watery scent but it has some presence and I think it's because of the galbanum that kind of grounds it a bit um, it is fresh but it's really floral so like with this one um, if you wear it in like the winter time, just, you know, spraying a couple more sprays, maybe like three sprays, but like in the hotter months, like I remember spraying it, maybe it's just because I hadn't worn it in a while, but I sprayed it one day when it was hot and it was just like really, really strong. So it's a really potent floral, but it's a fresh floral. It's just a really, really, really calming. I feel like I'm going to spray this on right now, but I'm not going to because I'm not going to be able to smell the other two I need to, um talk about right now but it's just like a I do I get like that Japanese um the Japanese mountains this just seems like a really like zen type of scent like Japanese like you know just like a Japanese spa or something just so so good the bottle is really really pretty and minimal 
I really like how clear and just really pretty and minimal this bottle is. Isn't that really cute and super cool? I really like it. Okay, so that's a scent by Issey Miyake. And um, that one is super, super calming. Very floral. Um, this is also like a sophisticated fresh scent um, and a more mature fresh scent because of the florals like it does carry okay so the next one um i've noticed is really calming um i've been wearing this like at bedtime um it just makes me feel like super relaxed and it's not overpowering um for bedtime and this was a blind buy and it is mediterranean by elizabeth Harden. okay so it's a woody floral musk, fragrance for women. It was launched in 2007. The nose behind this fragrance is Claude Deer. Top notes are plum, Sicilian mandarin, and peach. Middle notes are wisteria, magnolia, and orchid. Base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber. Okay, it just smells like, it smells like you're like, okay, so it smells like by the water. Um, it has a sandy smell to it, like sand mixed with the ocean or something, but with flowers. I don't, I can't really explain it. Um, it's kind of balmy. Um, I think there's sandalwood in it. It just kind of has like a buttery, balmy, yeah, sandalwood, musk, and amber. Yeah, at first when I got this, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know, I don't get it, you know? Um, but then I started kind of spraying it on at night before going to bed. And it would really make me feel really calm and help me fall asleep. It just smells like a warm hug, I don't know, by the beach. But to me, it almost like, I don't think of like, like in a bathing suit and in like a you know cover up or whatever I think of like a cozy chunky sweater on like a gloomy um a gloomy day by the beach with like you know where you're trying to stay warm like a comfy sweater like I get a warmth from it so it smells like a warm it smells like the beach trying to get warm on the beach in the winter or gloomy weather but it still has that beach atmosphere at atmospheric smells if that makes sense so that's Mediterranean by Elizabeth Arden and then I have one more and we should be done <clears throat> and that is um, in full bloom blush by Kate Spade and this is a floral fruity fragrance. It was launched in 2019. Top notes are lemon, green tea, and red fruit. This one is kind of like a, it would be fine as a blind buy, I think. It's just not to anything. It's just very, you know, in between, just it's not juvenile, it's not mature. Yeah. The red berries or red fruit, what is it? The red fruit, I think. The, yeah, red fruits um, kind of just lends to the rose petals. Um, like it kind of just brings out the rose petals. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good blind buy. This one was really inexpensive. I purchased it at Dee Dee's Discounts, which is like an affiliate of Ross Dress for Less, and it was $19.99. And that is In Full Bloom Blush. And that completes uh, my list for my most calming um, scents in my collection. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you like videos like this, I'm going to try to think of some other like kind of um, subtopics that I can do like, you know, calming, um, just different types of things uh, for people who are just looking for a certain type of scent. I think I had an idea for another video. I can't think of what it was. Oh, I, th I think I remember what it was. Um, scents for like um, like desert weather. I feel like I have a few right now that um, it, I don't know, it just seems like they would bloom and do well in like 
extreme dry heat. Um, so I was thinking of maybe doing a video like that, but we'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, nice chatting with you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the picks, and maybe you guys can kind of like try some of these out or let me know in the comments um, any scents that you wear that make you feel really, really calm and relaxed. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and um, see you next time. Bye!